Welcome along then to the magnificent Suzuka International Circuit, a stone's throw away from Isa Bay in the beautiful Japanese countryside. What surprises lie in wait for us today in the Japanese Grand Prix? We're southwest of the city of Nagoya today at the unique figure of eight Suzuka circuit. 3.6 miles and 18 corners make up a lap here with average speeds approaching 136 miles per hour. DRS will be available, of course, into the potential passing opportunity at turn one, although the best place for overtaking will be through 130R and into the final chicane. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. Let's talk about the Iceman. What do you make of their performance so far this season? It's been a really solid year so far. There have been some incredible standout performances, but what's really impressed me has been the consistency. With this kind of form, I'm expecting another great race today. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Iceman, Perez, Max Verstappen, and Leclerc, Ricardo, Ocon, Vettel, and Alexander Albon, Gasly, Kvyat, Kevin Magnussen, and Grosjean, Giovinazzi, Raikkonen, George Russell, and Lando Norris. They've taken a grid penalty. Latifi and Lance Stroll brings the... Five races remaining and you've still got a chance of winning the World Drivers title. Let's grab a solid points finish. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. Today we're at Suzuka. Uh, one of the most interesting courses I feel like it's on, uh, on the F1 schedule. Looks like we're still within a possibility of getting the Drivers' World Championship, which is, I don't know if that's actually right, uh, statistically speaking, uh, unless I've placed first every single race and Lewis fa doesn't finish any of the races, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, he's been on pole position every single race, pretty much. So we were supposed to actually be qualified fourth. We were supposed to be fourth, but it looks like Daniel Ricciardo got a five-place grip penalty for doing some changes on his equipment, so he should be pretty quick. Um, but overall, we should be in the strat. We should be pretty close to everybody, I think. So we go uh, softs and then hards. Uh, but let's, let's uh, without further ado, let's just jump right in. I oh, I forgot to switch out my gearbox. I totally forgot to switch out my gearbox. It still should be fine. That's what we're trying to do here, Jeff. I gotta say, if Suzuka feels bumpy. This is the this 180 degree corner is where I really lose time, I feel like. Uh, let's watch our front wing here. Really bad line through there.
Oh, I went a little bit hot there. second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. getting warm, reducing our overall capacity. The more charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. a small amount of time to the car behind, keep pushing. Front is 1.5 seconds.
We're leading our teammate by 13.5 seconds. Expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the hearts. information on Verstappen, they seem to have an issue. Focus, we need to stay on form. if it takes too much damage. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Oh man, that was rough. Go, go, go. 
surgery repair. I didn't expect surgery repairs to go into the pits that fast. Uh, but I guess he did damage his front wing when he hit me. And when I slid out of points, I was like, you know what, I'm already there. I might as well just dive right into the pits. Last second here, so. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. So that's. That's the undercut of the year, probably, I feel like. So we'll see what we can do with this on lap undercut. Wing is back to normal, we have our own hards. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, into the sand again. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with that corner. Stick it to the inside there. And get past for stop. I feel like he's a little bit. Maybe he's a little bit slow for some reason. Now they had car issues at the beginning of the race. Gap to car in front is 1.5 seconds. Down shift is a little bit too far there. Let 
little wide in that corner there. Uh, so we can get up closer to Vettel. Get closer up to Seb. Uh, we got a DRS, we can hang in with these guys. You're in P10, that's P10, we're into the points. George Russell's holding us up here. Jeez, Russell made me do a bad line now. Vettel's gonna go for it, Seb's gonna go for it. And I'll go for Seb. That's a, that's a nice overtake. Got George Russell out of the way. That's a middle came out of room, I feel like. Gearbox issue there. Ah, uh, we're a little bit too far away.
careful with the front wing. You've taken some minor damage. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Confirm change. Okay, copy that. Well, there goes our race. Our fragile carbon fiber wing couldn't handle it. I'm just feeling all the understeer now. Oh, our EC is having issues on our gearbox. Oh man! wing so let's see from fifth place till what 20th where am I gonna end up at least I'm gonna have soft tires on Twelve. go go now oh, can I still get into the points Giovinazzi Norris is there I need to beat Norris oh I'm gonna be so far back we have eight laps to catch him standard mix Jeez. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Oh, gearbox is having issues. Miss shifting. Alright, we gotta pass Lando within the next lap and a half. We should be close. Well, uh, on the main straight, I think. Be able to pass them. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Man, Lando's defending hard here. He does not want to lose up space to his teammate. A 
thought I could dive in there. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. You gotta push hard here, holy. All right, let's do this. Let's do a nice quick maneuver on him. Oh, that was not supposed to happen. I totally forgot what the braking line was. Well, that's one way to finish a race ahead of our teammate. Oh my God. Front lip, front hole from is gone. Jeez. That's a spectacular victory then, and with it, the championship is secure. Oh yeah, championship is secure. Well, there's no there's no chance of me winning that anyway, so. Man, Lewis Hamilton bought us for so quick, Ricardo was quick. The drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Oh man. Yeah, I guess that's that, that's so that's a unique it's time way of getting past your teammate. Affects the driver's Jeez. championship. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Well, Charles for me, it's Leclerc. got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion may be the boring Standings. choice at this point, but you can't argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they manage to secure the constructors' title. An incredible performance for the oh. whole team. I guess they well, won everything. Then to another fantastic Jeez. weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us. I didn't realize they won everything, constructors and that. Oh man, I feel like if I was closer up, we Ray could have Marco, had something. Team. Let's have your thoughts. What are our thoughts? Which department has been hit the hardest by next year's regulation changes? Um, which one? Yeah, pretty much our powertrain. We've been not having have enough any power. Comments about the collisions? My car was banking a bit and pretty it wasn't uh, delivered, but the car was nimble enough to avoid it. Uh, yeah, pretty much what happened. I was actually, I kind of fell asleep at the wheel there. Did not realize where I, my braking point was. And that just kind of happened. So three and three, what do we got here? Are we still ahead of a uh, good old Vettel? Yes, still ahead by four points. Okay, the race is remaining three. Well, with that said, I think it's time to end this episode. We had a good race, oh, a good uh, qualifying, a good start to a race. Then we touched lightly Charles Leclerc, broke our front, we had to go into the pits, and unfortunately that kind of ruined our race. But, you know what, what can you do? Let's uh, move on to the next, and let's move on to our invitational event, and then... Onto the United States Grand Prix, and we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.